This week's exciting session is on 7 Agile Best Practices for Business Analysts. Our expert presenters today are Yerji Wallach, Vice President of Product Management at Polarian, and Clara Shizmaru, Product Manager at Polarian. In the first part, we are going to shortly see how the role of business analyst fits the, the Agile project management. Uh, then we will move to the core of our discussion by exploring the seven Agile best practices for, uh, for BAs. The discussion is organized into best practices, but also challenges that you should be aware of, and the way our customers and also our teams, because Polarin follows the, the Agile methodology, have been able to address uh, those challenges. At the end, uh, after our conclusion, you'll have about 10 minutes for a Q&A session. So yes, please, uh, anytime, just uh, use the Q&A panel to, to fire the questions. I was looking for some definition of, of, of business uh, uh, analyst, and I found one that I really liked on the Institute of Business Analysis, and they define the analyst as the agents of change. And in its essence, Agile is helping organizations to embrace change, right? So this means that it doesn't matter whether you are called business analyst or whether you have another title, because the skills of business analysts are needed in Agile more than ever. What we think that you need is to have an Agile mindset, this meaning letting go of the illusion of certainty, of the command and control, and instead value more learning and adaptation. In this webinar, we're going to discuss uh, seven Agile best practices, and uh, these are uh, specify requirements progressively, involves planning and prioritization, a picture is worth a thousand words, enhance communication, embrace change smartly, quality is queen, and to do risk management. So let's start. One of the most important jobs of business analysts is to manage requirements mainly to specify the requirements up to the tiniest detail. I remember working with business analysts in the past, and uh, we weren't using the Agile uh, framework, and I remember they were creating long, long work documents with all requirements specified and pre-approved with the customer before we even started to discuss how we're going to implement them. It was a very tedious process, and then when the development started, we realized that it wasn't enough time to fit all the, the requirements that were there, so we had to cut the scope. There were technical details unknown at the time the requirements were created, so we had to rework the requirements. And of course, when, when, we, uh, when the customer was seeing the first version of the product, the customer realized that there were problems with the initial requirements. And again, work was, rework was needed. Thank you for watching our webinar teaser. To view the full webinar, click on the link below in the video description. For other recorded webinars, visit polarian.com, click on the Events and Webinars tab, and click on Recorded Webinars. Or take the next Polarian steps.